Hey everybody, my name is Dan Fur, and welcome to Synth School. Today I want to talk about arpeggiators, also known as ARPs. So what is an arpeggiator? Well, essentially all an ARP is, is it allows you to play a series of notes based on the parameters set in the arpeggiator. So how do you set those parameters? Well, let's dive in and find out. The first thing to consider when programming an arpeggiator is the BPM, or the speed that you want your ARP to be. The next parameter to consider is the arpeggiator pattern, and what this does is it essentially dictates what pattern the ARP follows. Generally there are some common patterns that you'll find, like up, down, up, down, and random. The third thing to consider when programming an ARP is how many octaves you want it to be. One octave, two octaves, three or more. The fourth and final thing I want to mention about arpeggiators is it also matters what keys you're pressing. This allows you to play some chord-like features on a monophonic synth. As you can see here, the bass station is monophonic, but I'm holding down a basic triad shape, and you can see the ARP is cycling through the triad, allowing me to play somewhat of a chord on a monophonic synth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something about arpeggiators today. My name is Dan Furr. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Have a good one. Cheers.